yeah so in this video we'll see that the third data structure which is set so uh, in the same way uh, how do we write a how do we make a set so it's like convention would be variable name equals to curly braces okay curly braces and inside that we have uh, data this is how we uh, make a set okay so th this also have some similar properties uh, some uh, differentiating properties so in the same way we use set for multi storing multiple data same like list so but uh, it's unordered first this is the first data set which is not ordered which can't be uh, unchangeable unchangeable and this is where the duplicates are not allowed so if we'll make a if we'll make a set right now so let's say username only again we'll use username equals to see curly braces using curly braces which means it's a set henry uh, jason okay jared okay see this is a set if we'll print uh, uh, type username see class set class set okay so in the same way uh, where it's not allowed is when i'll take entry again okay see there are four elements now if i'll run it and uh, if i'll print username values with type c it is only giving me henry once but there are two henry so it will discard any duplicates uh oh yeah so in set you can't have duplicates and uh, again if you'll see uh it's unordered so first when i printed it it was jared J uh, jared jason and henry and again it got changed to henry jared and jason so in the same way it's like whenever i'll print it again it will have some other uh order so it's an unordered data structure you it's it's very hard to know how it will get ordered so you cannot never change it by it's very hard to change it by indexing so you can only change if you want to change something it's like only you could do it with uh, the value so print uh, in the same way we could see the length username length username So it's giving my length of three okay in the same way it's uh equal, it, it, other things also are same you could use any data type uh in a single uh, set it would not be a problem and because uh you can't uh it's not ordered it's very hard to access it so if i want user name if i'll print uh henry if i want if i want uh henry so i can't do like this way see it will not give it to me this is no, this is not possible so what we have to do is like we have to run a small loop so don't worry it's what is loop just understand we are just going through each and every uh, every element in the loop every element in the data and we are just printing out so username print x so now it's they're giving us okay henry jarrett and Jill. so in this way uh we could access uh we could access data if we could access data you you cannot change data because unchanged after adding uh after we cannot remove uh, change the data now what we could is like we could add data we could uh add it uh, add more data but you can't change the existing data so username we could add it by using the add function maybe use stevie Print username. See, it got added. Okay, TV is added in the same way. Uh, you could add two. You could add two different sets also. So you could also add two different sets. User age eighteen twenty twenty five. Okay, and if you want to add, you do update. Okay, update update the name of the other page see it got added also so, okay so in this way you could also do that uh, uh in this way 
and uh, other things are like you could also like add so you could also remove it so if you want to re remove use the remove function Henry and it and we got remote see so in this way there are different functions that you could go through and in the same way uh if entry is not let's say if uh, i'll say for jack so and i'll run this so it will give me a key error so this is giving me an error so if you want if you don't want the error but if you, you want to remove it because jack is not present away it will give me an error but if you want to remove it without an error even if it's not present it should not give me an error so what we could use it's called discard so discard will not give me an error when the value is not present see it will not give me an error but if the value is present it will remove it if it's not if that the value is not present it will not give me an error so that's why it's useful uh, you could remove uh, you could uh, remove the last uh lo last element uh using pop function but you will never know what would be the last function so so that's why uh if i'll run it again but first it removed jared now it removed henry so you will never know uh what is the last what is the last uh, uh element so in the same way you could also clear it just like in with the written list so okay it will give, remove all the data from the set so in the same way there are some now we could do something uh, that is very useful for set this is where we could use uh, this is why we use set okay so it's it it like you could say it describe it describes the set in maths that we use that so there are two three sets we could use yeah we could do union of them intersection of them all the things so in this also we could do that all things so union and uh, user age so i make uh, another set so temp and if we'll see temp see it it gives the union of all the things okay it gives the union of all the things okay so in the same way uh, you could also check for uh you could also check for duplicates okay if i'll say uh there's some json over here also i only want json i don't want any other thing so i could do intersection update see again i could do intersection update and it will give me uh sorry json okay sorry so it will keep the item that are present in both sets so you could remove it okay so you could do all the things uh, that you could do like uh, in a normal and intersection whatever the intersection is see this is the intersection so json is the intersection uh, that's what we get in both the intersection uh, json is the common so we get that so we could we could like also do that uh we could also do we don't want the common things and all the other things we wanted so we could for symmetric difference symmetric difference and we'll got will not get json and everything will be there so in this way you could do a lot of things uh that's where the set it's very useful for us to getting duplicates and checking for all those things so use symmetric difference and intersection for getting duplicates and intersection for duplicate and symmetric difference when you don't want duplicates you could do unions and everything okay you could go and check for um, the documentation of all the other things like it's subset or superset all the thing that we did when uh, while we were doing sets in maths so yeah so in i'll see you in the next video